Good evening, my name is Tom Moore, and I'm presenting the role of Hickey from The Iceman's Coming by Eugene O'Neill. Listen, everybody, uh, I know you're, <laughs> you're sick of my gabbing, and, and, uh, uh, but I, I think this is the, the spot where I, I owe it to you to, to do a little explaining and, and apologize for some of the stuff I've had to pull on you. I know how it must look to you, as if I was some damn busybody who is not only interfering in your personal business, but even sicking some of you on to, to nag at each other. Well, I have to admit that it's true, and I'm damn sorry about it, but uh, it simply had to be done. You must believe that. I had to make you help me with each other. I saw I couldn't do what I was after alone. Not in the time at my disposal. I knew when I came here I wasn't going to be able to stay with you long. I'm slated to leave on a trip. I saw I'd have to hustle and use every means I could. Yeah, yeah if I had enough time, I'd get a lot of sport out of selling my line of salvation to each one of you all by my lonesome. Like it was fun in the old days when I traveled house to house to convince some dame who was sicking a dog on me that her house wouldn't be properly furnished unless she bought another washboard. <laughs> well, I could do the same thing to you, all right. Because I know every one of you inside and out, by heart. I may have been drunk when I've been here before, but old Hickey could never be so drunk that he didn't have to see through people. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> that is, except himself. And finally, he had to see through himself, too. But here's the point again. I swear, I'd never act like I had if I wasn't absolutely certain it would be worth it to you in the end. After you're rid of the damn guilt that makes you lie to yourself for something you're not, and the remorse that nags at you, that makes you hide behind some lousy pipe dream about tomorrow, you'll be in a today where there's no yesterday or tomorrow to worry you. You won't give a damn what you are anymore. I wouldn't say this unless I knew, brothers and sisters, this piece is real. It's a fact. I know it because I've got it here, now, right in front of you. You can all see the difference in me. You remember how I used to be. Even when I had two quarts of rock cut under my belt and joked and sang Sweet Adeline, I still felt like a guilty skunk. But you can all see, I don't give a damn about anything now. And I promise you, by the time this day is over, I'll have every one of you feeling the same way. And I guess that's about all for me, boys and girls. Let's get on with the party. <laughs>